Hello friends, 896 days of war between Russia and Ukraine and things are escalating. In southern war zone in Kherson, Ukrainians tried to land a landing force on Tendra Spit, however they did not succeed. In Zaporizhia, by Laz, no changes, positional battle continues in Uriko as well as Rimivki salient. In east, on Marinka front, on Konstantinivka and Parasko Vivka, fronts are unchanged since long. However, the road connecting between Konstantinivka and Ugledar seems to be cut off still by advance of Russian army. Russians have fanned out from Poveda in south and as far as west is concerned, Georgievka no changes. Krasnogorovka, Ukrainians still hold a small defense unit on Lozovaya River. But by now, Russians control this city, almost 85 percent. Audivka front towards Karlivka, no changes. Otherwise, generally, Russians have advanced in and out of Zelenoe, Serigievka and their ministry claims that they have taken over full control over Timofivka and surrounding areas. In Torres also they have advanced and entered in Pivnik Noe, that is Kiru, 700 meters on almost 1.7 kilometer wide front. In Artimovo, that is Zaliz Noe, Russians advanced west and in New York, Russians have entered inside and have taken over 1.6 km deep inside on 3.4 km wide front. Bakhmut Chasi Vyar, Russians have been fighting and advancing along Siversky Donetsk Donbass Canal and positional battle continues in Klishivka. Siversk sector by Laz, positional battle continuing, no changes. Northeast, no significant changes north of Kharkov, that is Slobozansky direction. Fierce battle continuing in Volchansk and Glubukoye. All the counterattacks by Ukrainians to dislodge Russians from there have not succeeded so far. The latest is Ukrainians attack or offensive operation in Kursk region starting from yesterday. They attempted offensive operation in Kursk region in Suzhansky and Korenevsky districts from Sumi side. Earlier to that, they launched 26 drones and various other attacks trying to prepare their operations. The attack formation included tanks also. Total was approximately 22 armor vehicles, 11 tanks or almost a dozen of tanks, three to four hundred troops. As per me, the latest is that Ukrainians have entrenched themselves in Nikolayevo, Daryino, Sverd Likovo in northwest and in southwest. They are advancing towards 38K004 highway that is Suza Goncharovka. And by last, they have managed to enter 7 km inside. That is good gains for the Ukrainians. Interdiction missions as before. Palestine, Israel, Middle East. Once again as before, no changes. Yahya Sinwar is elected new head of Hamas Politburo to replace the dead Ismail Haniye. And Palestinians are evacuating Khan Yunis in anticipation of Israeli armed forces ground offensive. United States has finally withdrawn fully from Niger and Viktor Orban has said that US has attacked Nord Stream gas pipeline. China launched 18 satellites and another 108 are expected in this year and they are planning to launch 15,000 by 2030. It looks like they are launching drones. Bangladesh situation is now seems to be stabilizing where the people, especially the students and youths 
are taking over controls of the country trying to make things peaceful no attacks on minorities that is good however the end will reach soon let us wait for that and that's all for day thanks